that's them. That is our blue team on the left side here on Cursed Hollow. They are the Czech team inside games. And we have in the mid lane on Vala Hydax. Going towards the top lane, we have Darren Echo playing Zagara and the, the party lane in the bot. It seconds. is Threoma Furion, Mikichi on ETC. And there's a little bit of a pause. Well, oops. Well, that's going to be up to the other team if they can can re-choose the talent. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess they're going to have to play with play with the wrong talent, Zagara. I'm going to check which one. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. They're not going to see me. Not going to see me type. So they're going to have to figure this out. But we will have... Jekyll playing Jaina in the bot lane. And hopefully we'll get the same situation next time once they resume or either redo this game. Come on. Eh, they should be able to remake. Okay, well, both teams don't want to remake it. Shit happens. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Alright, so which one was the talent? Corpse feeders. Roachlings take less damage. And I don't know, we can't really go into which one took the wrong talent over here. Five, oh, Tyrael looks four, fine. Three, two, oh, one. Tyrael. Um, well, I think that's still begin. good. Still not too bad. All right, their opponents going for a five man stack here in the mid lane. They are Team Singularity in the Blood Red. And leading the charge is Nexo as Diablo, right legs as Tyrael, uh, Tychus right in the back. And we have Niarly uh, playing, oh wait, that's uh, Sylvanas. And Jojo is playing Tyrael. Eagleheart is Mr. Matic Uther. And well, looks like their party bush hasn't really worked out so far. Both these teams hiding the bushes. Oh, they should be able to uh, sort out the situation, get back into their lanes. Maybe they can do something here in the mid, but Hydex really, really well placed there. Close to the walls, really, really safe placement. Zagara should be fine in top lane. Yeah, already creeping so well. Look at that little nice creep highway. Material missed, missed a little bit of XP, but it's not too, not too bad. Look at that, only, well, maybe... Not even, uh, not even an eighth of XP that's missed here. Oh, Hydex needs to watch out though. Nexo's coming in, there's the kick, but a little bit too late. So that's something they're going for here. Just um, all out aggression, changing lanes, lots of roaming. And let's see, are Diablo and Uther are gonna change lanes again? Yeah, looks like they're going for it. The Gara has already received a uh, danger ping, I, s I think so. I think she, she did. But then again, the creep actually helping out quite a bit. And there's Hydex <laughs> going back once again. Of course, uh, she can use that creep vision as well. So that's that's helping out quite a bit here. And now they're finally coming in once again. But, oh, Hydex doing a good job. Let's like, have a look at the spot lane. Oh, really, really nice aggression here. Jackal already landing down the blizzard. And one of these towers out of ammo, the other one almost gone. I think they can focus that one down, but Niali needs to watch out. They're all hiding in the bushes. And, well, I guess she has a decent idea that's what's coming here. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's going on. Still a little bit behind. We already have a level, t a level 4 talents available. And there's the tower going down. Ooh, Nexo and Eaglehawk turning around. Going for Jackal straight away. Nice body blocking there down the bottom side. There's the Blizzard and Jackal for dishing out the damage, but she's not going to make it. And nice little turnaround here for Singularity. And that's that's the power of roaming for you. Eagleheart and Nexo really doing a good job. And now they're right down here, right by the tribute. Really excellent placement for our team from Germany. And Mikichi coming in, trying to push on some damage. Ooh, and they see the erupt on Nexo. But they're still pushing Mikichi out. Uh, he's just gonna try to come back in there, but even though he's a warrior, he can take all the damage. And there's a redistribution into all of these lanes. Tower finally gone. Jekyll is back in lane. It's not gonna be too bad. Um, I think the experience that was lost early on is a little bit more dangerous than that, that one single takedown here. And once again, a little bit of a roam towards the top. But look at that creep. Wow, Darren Echo really doing a good, good job. Right clicks? 
can't really get out of his uh, out of his fort. And there's the counter push. But once again, Darren Echo saw all of this. Uh, maybe could spread the creep a little bit more on the right side, but heck, uh, that's just counting peace. And our team from Czech uh, Czechoslovakia is or oh Czech Republic, that's what they're called. Um, going for the Bruiser camp here. And a nice, fast yeah, capture by Jackal and Mikichi. It's gonna put on some pressure and a good timing. Next tribute is coming up. So, Singularity, they will have to react. They have one tribute, but they're gonna have to stop these bruises early on. Or, um, completely, uh, completely neglect the tribute. Or neglect the damage from the bruisers. But looks like this time Mikachi can get the channeling down and will get that tribute. So 1-1 one one in the tributes game and well Singularity have caught up in experience. But that's a nice little push coming down here. Hydex, well and now Mikachi joining in the fray. Really really strong pushing power but there's the turnaround. Nexo is coming in. A nice push back but Hydex of course vaulting away. Mikachi coming in. Catching a little bit of damage and there's Niali coming around from the bottom but it's not gonna matter here. Gonna push them away. Nexo still standing in the trouble. Ooh, Jackal once again completely out of position and he's taken out. Really needs to watch out there. Niali also quite low, but they still have control here. And now have a little bit of a level advantage. Well, only one level. It's not gonna matter all that much. Level 7 talents were available for both teams. And there's a redistribution into all these lanes. Niali getting down here. Let's have a look at the talents. Uh, we have Battle Momentum on Diablo and Tyrael. There's Cleanse on Uther. First aid, of course, taken by Tychus. Let's have a look. Uh, Melting Point was his uh, second choice here. And there's Venom on Sylvanas. Uh, Barb Chart taken as a level 1. And the Unstable Poison on level 7. Over on the side of Inside Games, we have Enduring Growth on Malfurion. Rapid Incubation for Zagara. Searing Attacks on Vala. Frostbitten on Jaina. And Hydex needs to watch out. But his team is coming in to help out. Ooh, nice little root onto Nexo, but they really don't want to try to go for him. And there's Guitar Hero taken by ETC. And once again, Inside Games have caught up. That's a problem if you go roaming a little bit too much with three heroes. You lose uh, quite a bit of XP. Um, it's not going to matter all that much soon. Once we have level 10, there's going to be a whole lot more roaming from both these teams. But so far... They will need to watch out. And there's a little bit of a push coming in. Niali uh, and Uther as, alongside Diablo. They'll try to push down on the spot lane. And Jackal will need to watch out. But I think um, after dying two times, um, and those were the only kills on, on the side of uh, Team Silver Laggardy, he's, he's gonna watch out quite a bit. If you're in rotating down, he's gonna see. Uh, that Eagle Heart is in position and Diablo as well, but well, is it gonna matter? Ooh, nice overpower. And they're both going for him, but Mikachi is coming in. There's the Blizzard to help him out, and Eagle Heart already took way too much damage. I think they're gonna, gonna retreat out of this position. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nexo needs to watch out. Oh, that's level 10, but both of these teams have him. And Nexo so close, but the Divine Shield saving him in the last possible second. Eagle Heart will drop though. And there's the uh, engage with Judgment. Oh, Mikachi even caught in that Diablo heroic, but he's still alive. All the team members of Inside Games are alive, but they're still not gonna push this too hard. Out of mana, almost, so I guess it's a good point to make a return and, well, get that tribute. So, get one kill, or two kills rather, and that tribute. Um, that's a nice takeaway from this. And gives them a little bit of time to go for their own boss. Uh, looks like the same thing might be happening on the side of Team Singularity, but still a little bit of caution, a little bit cautious. Still need to deal with these uh, these sea giants in the top lane. Ooh, Darren Echo needs to watch out though. There's the Maw. Uh, probably not gonna do all that much. Ooh, those Bailings could have killed Right Legs, but nice blocking here by Eagle Heart. And the boss has been taken down here while porting back. It's gonna be a really strong push if they're uh, returning with mana, with full health, and just continue to uh, boost boost this boss. Niali and Exo going for the defense. They might need a little bit more than this. But it's gonna be a split push. Hydex, uh, Thray and Jackal going for the mid lane. And only Jojo in position to stop this. And at the same time we have the third tribute coming in. 
And this could be the third tribute for either of these teams, so it's a really, really big one. It's gonna be tough for Singularity to deal with the boss. Well, boss is gone. Never mind, never mind, they're gonna go for it. There's a challenge by Jojo, who was interrupted, and Hydex already taking quite a bit of damage. And the Apocalypse on Frey, he fought so quickly! Oh my gosh! Nice little heroic by Hydex, uninterrupted once again. But wow, Sylvanas goes down, Vala goes down on the other side, and Jaina. Jojo coming in once again, but Darren Echo still has quite a bit of health. And Nexo? Can you keep him alive? Well, Tyrael moving out of position, but he was taken out. Oh, right clicks. My gosh. Surviving on 30 HP. Nexo was taken out. Ooh, he stuck around for way too long. And in the end, Inside Games prevailed. And wow, a little bit surprisingly. I mean, they lost three heroes almost at the exact time. But still, this could be a nice little strong push here. Mikashi will probably be able to take out this... Well, he's definitely going to be able to take out this fort. Give him a nice little experience boost. Fury needs to watch out in the mid lane, though. It's two heroes coming for him. And even though these minions don't do all that much, uh, they're still... Uh, still safe behind the walls. At least somewhat safe. Now the entire team is coming in. And gate falls so quickly. Ooh, Sylvanas not watching out. Didn't even need that route. Really good play here by Inside Games, using their momentum to overpower this fort. And, wow, Singularity, need to watch out. They're not going to be able to defend this fort, they should at least keep all their heroes alive. And once again, there's that nice little strafe coming out of Hydax. Uninterrupted. Ooh, are they going to be really ballsy here and go for a steal? I mean, they have two levels of damage, but it's not that crucial right now. Once they have that, once they have that uh, level, uh, uh, level 17 talent, it might be different, but right now, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's the engage. Naxo overpowered him to Hydex. Oh, and a really, really nice apocalypse. But Jackal a little bit out of position for Naxo, and there he goes for it, but still goes down in the end. Oh, Maw to the boss. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. EDC does fall, and Jaina also quite low and shrunk down. Hydex gets out of the fight. Jojo still trying to give chase. Darren Echo trying to turn this around, but he's all by himself. Jekyll needs to get out of that fight. And a nice little way here for Team Singularity to deny that steal. Really, really good job. Only losing Diablo and uh, Uther in the process. Hurts him a little bit in the end, because, of course, uh, Diablo needed those soul stones, but then uh, I think it was worth it here. Uh, that steel could have ended the game right there. And now if they're just gonna go go ahead and grab all the experience they can, maybe they can catch up again. They're a level behind. It's still alright, I don't know what Tira is doing down here. Really wants to capture that uh, ops, uh, ops tower. You should really be going for that XP in the bot lane. I'm missing out quite a bit. Going for the mercs instead. The knight's taking the mid lane, but same thing's happening on the side of inside games. And they're going for their sea giants as well in the top lane. So that's uh, almost well. All the forts are down, so they have to. Sh they're gonna have to choose which which keep they're gonna go for. I don't think any of on uh, any of the gates have taken any damage so far. So I guess it all depends on. Where the next team fight is gonna break out. Might be mid lane. Level seven, uh, level sixteen, almost available. There it is. And we have imposing presence for Diablo. Blood for blood on Tyrael. An addiction on Uther. And stone skin for Tychus. Savannah's not has not chosen just yet. And next tribute is coming up. Oh, once again, this might be the time for Team Singularity to turn this turn this thing around. Sorry for that. <coughs> Since uh, they do have two tributes already, third one will give him curse and would help him out quite a bit. Diablo already charging in there. There's the overpower onto Darren Echo. But, ooh, yep, yeah, she's completely out of position. Really nice move. The Maw only catching Eagle Heart. And Niarly, oh, incredibly low, but with the Divine Shield, can survive for a little bit longer, at least helping out and get that kill on Naxo. Right clicks is in the Odin, but does it really matter in the end? Mikachi and Hydax are shooting for him, and Ray coming out now as well. But he needs to watch out with a heal. Can stay alive, and that's a team kill 
four inside games and they're gonna go for that first tribute and well most importantly not get it caught out by scene singularity and a nice little steal coming in for the boss I guess they're gonna go for their own boss afterwards and then maybe push down bot lane other way at the same time the seed shines completely uninterrupted so we're gonna need a little bit of minion help maybe maybe a hero up there and let's see are they gonna go for their own boss Oh, they're all porting back, I guess so. And Darren Echo will be the first one to arrive. Arrive at the scene and take out the... Well, that's the minion's job. That's what they're here for. But, really doing a good job. Siege damage. Oh, Jaina leading the charge with uh, 76,000. Kind of thought, okay, Zagara would be the one, but hey. Bala, of course, um, leading the charge with hero damage. A nice little healing coming out of Malfurion. and 31,000. Almost up to part two of the opponent's team uh, with 30,000 on Uther and almost 10,000 by Tyrael. And then we have also 76,000 by Zavannas. She really is a strong sieging hero. Hero damage quite a bit lower, uh, also her. So a little bit of the, the, a little bit the jack of all trades uh, is Sylvanas. Ooh, level 20 is almost upon them inside games only. Uh, three quarters of a level down. And they're gonna soak up all the XP they can. Oh, there's that push in the bot lane. Going for the boss. And, well, it's not gonna do too much damage, but just having those walls cleared out and the entire team out of position, that's gonna help out inside games. Uh, they're going for the top lane. Gates are down. I don't think they're gonna go for the f for the keep right there. Um, well, they have three heroes in position. Mafurin's still completely out of position. They wanna soak up all the XP they can. And it's only maybe one or two more kills uh, to get that level 20 ready. And I think once they have that, uh, maybe with the mercs, uh, just gonna go for at least a keep. But they need one more kill. There it is. There it is. Level 20 is available. Let's see what they're gonna go for here. Storm Shield, Arma Furion, Ball of the Storm taken by Zagara. And same goes for Vala and ETC. Only one going for a little bit different style here is Arcade Power on Jaina. So, a little bit more damage and mana uh, restoration on Jaina. And now with level 20, they're gonna go for the mercs. Maybe even go for the steel and the seed shines and then just uh, go for yeah, go for the aggression. But maybe they can surprise Team Singularity. They're coming out of their coming out of their keep. This might be the chance, but uh, I'm just gonna stick back and go for the tribute instead. Ooh, Diablo! The only one completely out of position. Oh, they're gonna go for the kill. This is gonna be sweet. Sweet, sweet, easy pickup. No chance for Nexo to even stay around. And, well, that's a 50 second cooldown. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt Singularity quite a bit. Because here it goes. Oh, man. Steal on the Seed Shines, the Curse, and the entire team with level 20. This might be game. Inside games really on top of things right now. A little bit of a lackluster start. They're really pumping it out now. And there we go. Keep goes down. Are they gonna go for the second one or just go for the core straight away? Uh, looks like they're taking the safe route. Ah, wouldn't blame them. They have the seed shines in the back already doing a little bit of damage to the core. And they're just going for safe XP, taking out the towers, taking out the keeps. Um, yeah, top keep was already taken out. And, well, 7 seconds on Diablo, they might not risk it, we'll have to see, maybe they're gonna poke and prod a little bit here or there. All heroics are available for both teams, so this could be interesting. No real reason to back off, but uh, maybe they're going for it. Oh, there's the engage onto Hydex, a little bit out of position, but a good heal coming in, keeping her alive for a little bit longer, but she still drops out of there. And a good apocalypse onto Thray, but that level advantage definitely helping out for inside games, Jojo. Oh, he's getting, he's getting hit quite bad. And Nexo completely caught out. Nice little body blocking here by Derenecho. And he's not gonna stick around for too much longer. But they're not focusing him. Going for Jojo again. And that might be two warriors going down. Uther in the meantime also dropping. And Sylvanas. Jojo still pushing them back. Not bad at all. Jekyll once again. There goes the ice block. Keeping her alive for a little bit longer. And a good, uh, good route onto two of them. Material might take out Frey. Oh, nice little save here by Thray. Really cool ice block. Perfect timing. Nexo, wow. He stuck around for a really long time 
Darren Echo and Mikachi might actually get this. Yep. There's the GG, well played. And they're gonna kill the core and go on t to the quarterfinals. I don't think we have an opponent just yet, but inside games, they're definitely up for anyone right now. And still mocking their opponents. <laughs> Being pushed back. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, the start didn't really look good, but they made it work. And that's inside games for you. Uh, made it to